Right, to uh, raise a number of matters that have been presented to this House today. Uh, and I rise to raise them because uh, I was reminded through the day of a quote that goes something like, the standard that you walk past is the standard that you accept. And I think on day two of this Parliament, it's not OK to accept comments made across the House that are not correct. Uh, they may be unintentionally incorrect, um, however, I suspect on at least uh, two of the occasions they are intentional misinformation seeking to undermine uh, great people, their families, their communities and important industries of Tasmania. Uh, I want to uh, speak gently on the first two items uh, in relation to comments made by our member for Braddon, uh, Craig Garland, because it may be that they were unintentional, but I think it's important that the records of this House reflect um, correct information. There was a suggestion uh, in a uh, response on his feet um, what was done uh, quite clearly and appropriately uh, in an impromptu way, so without thought, without deep pre-thought, so I will, uh, will say this in a way that's done respectfully, but there was a suggestion that <laughs> all of the waters, yeah, without a script, I'm just trying, off his feet, he just jumps. He's about it a lot. Yeah. Yes, apologies. I wasn't implying that, but I'm just saying that it was like a, a moment to respond. And there was a suggestion in, within the content that all of the fresh waters of Tasmania have been corrupted by um, operations of salmon farming. Uh, it was a suggestion that the flow-through hatcheries that are Almost part of the complex that system... The so Hansard we'll, will indicate that his suggestion was the fresh water of Tasmania um, has been severely impacted by salmon farming and that therefore my assumption from that is that the flow through hatcheries that are a critical part of that system in Tasmania are having environmental impact. Correct. Uh, is, there is no basis for those comments that continue to be led by people like the leader of the Green that's just interjecting there now are. and others in Tasmania because the they science. have not been found... Leader of the Green, do you have they have not been found by the regulators to be impacting the environment uh, negatively. I myself have visited flow-through hatcheries. I would encourage the other members to visit flow-through hatcheries and I would encourage Mr Garland to uh, visit flow-through hatcheries. When I visited at South Springfield, I was able to witness both platypus in the water downstream the member, of flow-through hatchery and also... I don't wish to interrupt your flow, but if, flow, but if the member wishes to say that she's been misrepresented, she can do so and make a statement at the appropriate time. Um, I'll call them. And uh, the incredible giant freshwater crayfish uh, cohabiting with the flow-through hatcheries uh, of uh, salmon operations in Tasmania. So I just want to correct that. When people come up and stand on their feet and make uh, broad brush comments of absolute proportions, like the freshwater of Tasmania is impacted by this, it's not acceptable to keep that on the record uh, in this place. Further, there was suggestion that Petuna are currently seeking to farm in the waters of the northwest. I know way back in 2017 there was initial uh exploration about the potential of doing that. There was significant consultation. There was significant data gathered. Uh, but that is no longer on the table. The exploration licence has expired. There was no intention to renew that. or well, there, there wasn't a renewal of that licence. And now there is a, and now there is a focus the on farming in Storm Bay. So on, day, on the first time that the member raises to their feet to say such a thing, I think it should be put on record that that's not correct. Because otherwise what will happen is the member will continue to repeat that in this place when it's not true. And I don't think that's OK. And, and I don't think it's OK to the many members of uh, that company and other companies that seek to do a good job in a respectful way, in a way that they care for the environment, that they support their family, they support their communities, and they are the foundations of a great industry in Tasmania. But what is perhaps more concerning is that the leader of the Greens rises to her feet and makes... Um, Oh, well, in fact, these weren't when she was on her feet, sorry. These were interjections from her chair make, again, really concrete black and white comments that are just not true. So there was uh, one point at interjection where uh, the leader of the Greens said, uh, the single reason for concerns in Macquarie Harbour uh, implied then the sentence didn't finish because it was interjection, is salmon farming. Even the own reports that they refer to say that there is not a single reason. There are multi-layered uh, reasons for different things that happen in Macquarie, Macquarie Harbour. Significant well, thank you for correcting the record. The I, reason. I, I reason. acknowledge that uh, there is a corrected... Interjection, it can be corrected by interjection. Thank you. <laughs> 
that uh, it is not a single. So you will not repeat you that in this place. In silence, please. Do not repeat that in this place. And there are multiple things that have multiple uh, applications in that harbour system, but not any of them are singly responsible for any uh, detriments that are unsurmountable. The other thing that was said from the seat today uh, was that there was... Um, any improvement in the oxygenation of Macquarie Harbour clearly was, um, uh, and I'm, uh, I'm interpreting what you said, and I'm saying immaterial, because you said because going from a zero base doesn't need much of an improvement. Well, there's never been zero oxygenation in Macquarie Harbour. And, and I will read from this release today. Macquarie Harbour Seabed compliance results best on record since becoming EPA regulated, uh, EPA in Tasmania. Macquarie Harbour surveys have yielded improving compliance results since the EPA became responsible for environmental regulation of fish farming in 2016. Fin fish farmers are required to undertake four monthly seabed video surveys at marine fin fish farms in Macquarie Harbour for compliance compliance assessment purposes. In January 2024, all 35 metre compliance points were found to be compliant with environmental licence requirements. All were found to be compliant. This is a great improvement compared to previous January results. Seabed video surveys over the past 12 months have shown only one non-compliance at a 35 metre compliance point. These are the best consecutive survey results as shown in the compliance history table. Commencing in 2017, the APA director progressively cut finfish farming in Macquarie Harbour by half. The latest dissolved oxygen data from Macquarie Harbour is also encouraging. Oxygen level Levels have gradually increased in some deeper parts of the harbour, approaching the interim default guideline values, which were calculated based on data from before oxygen levels started decline, circa 2009. Members no time suggestion has of zero oxygenation in the time harbour. Has expired. And no one else very is clear seeking the call. Member has expired. If no one else is seeking the call. Then the motion is the question is that the House do now adjourn. All